Hello, uh, this is Key. Uh, this is a short video just showing more vehicles that I've seen in the Army Man series that was rather neglected that could have sparked on uh, MMO. Uh, I realize that 3DO is dead now. Uh, Mirajet has informed me of this, but still I would I'm posting these videos to give maybe a developer out there some ideas to say, hey, look look at what all what's all going on in the Army Man world and give it a crack at it. Uh, and this here, uh, the first video will be uh, basically uh, some vehicles about uh, Army Man 3D. I'm sorry, yeah, Army Man 3D uh, for PS1. Uh, this is the very first game for the uh, PS1 uh, that's focused with Sarge. Also, all vehicles here are multi-crewed. Uh, all vehicles can uh, be commanded. I mean, in other words, you can call uh, allied forces in to fill your slots in. Uh, they do have passenger space and uh, some of them have guns, some of them don't, uh, giving them multi-purpose. And it's sparking possible uh, tactical action for uh, for shooter type games, and uh, driving the driving is a little clunky. I I, I mean for me anyway, uh, it's actually easier in this one, but in later videos you'll be seeing the driving can be a little weird, and that's because of the world assault. Um, kind of they reprogram their controls a bit so it so it drives a lot funkier than what what it is here but the other ones are easier to aim with so I guess it's a 50-50 on it uh, anyway I said uh, I said I realize uh, 3DO has has been Kaputsky, and uh, I really kind of wish EA Games would stop buying game companies and focus on their sports gimmick. Whatever works in sports doesn't work in games. If Battlefield Heroes isn't a hint for you, I don't know what is. I mean uh, that that one was a really excellent. Uh, first-person shooter for a while. I was a beta tester for that one, and it, it came out pretty good, and then all of a sudden, it just... crap. And, I mean, it was from Punk Buster errors, and Punk Buster is its own issue. I think that that thing should be Punk Busted itself. It's such a fail program. Uh, but... Basically, they went from... Uh, somewhat balanced system to commandos were basically everything I mean, sorry not commandos, I mean uh, gunners and commandos just kind of got s s nerfed uh, to holy heck to where they're useless now and it's uh, back to a uh, pay to play system when they originally tended and advertised that it would only be uh, fashion only for uh pay to play player players in other words you just buy clothing you don't it doesn't affect the gameplay now it affects the gameplay way too much which kind of kills the series and that's a common theme with EA which is why I said it's in the game for sports leave it everywhere else we don't need you go away uh, But uh, any other game developers or game companies, please, like I said, look, watch these videos. Maybe this will give you some ideas on getting some uh, tactical MMOs out. We really need some new ones. Uh, stop focusing on the modern warfare style and focus on something different. Uh, you know, like, like I mean, people like, uh, like that Rift, for example, look, look like a good premise. Uh, War Rock was somewhat of a good premise, I suppose. Uh, Battlefield 2 was okay to some extent. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the submarine part of it. Uh, this is for naval players. 
uh, see that there is a naval element, uh, and we are moving into uh, World at War team assault here. Uh, as you can see here, uh, uh, the uh, submarine is fully detailed. You can descend, you can ascend, you can turn the boat around, you can back up, fire torpedoes, uh, there's sea mines, enemy submarines. Uh, and eventually it gets to a point where they uh, send death charges in, so that's definitely up a uh, naval player's alley. Uh, so, like I said, this this video isn't really for a casual viewer. This is more for like if you're like in the game development, like come on, why don't you try this out a little bit? You know, try maybe spark some ideas for new types of games or something. Because it's a pain in the butt to find um, decent mellow first-person shooters. It's all like arena-based anymore. It needs to go go back to more tactical and less, you know, squad or I mean, strat-based and less tactical. My bad. Uh, and anyway, I'll ch show some more shots of the uh, submarine bit, and we're gonna go ahead and move on to river boats. Uh, this is what you've seen in a previous uh, video of mine, uh, just me doing the uh, river boat scene. And this is Army Man World at War, uh, the very first one. Uh, there's pretty good detail on the boat. Uh, there's two guns on it. Uh, moves pretty quick. Uh, might be able to fill it up with more people than two for you know uh, troop transportation across rivers. Uh, nothing much to say about that, but it is you know workable. Like I said, uh, Battlefield 2 and War Rock uses it quite a bit, so that can give you some options there. Uh, And uh, I mean, it's like that. It's just kind of throwing out some ideas for maybe some people, developers out there. Okay, and then uh, finally, after the riverboat, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, post up a bit about uh, motorcycles. Uh, I don't know how this is going to look at in the final cut, and it might like sink bad, or it might be like I'm talking about motorbikes in the riverboat part, but uh, I'll try to get it all sorted out. Anyway, uh, as you can see here, there's a motorcycle. Uh, this is Army Man, uh, I believe, a Final Assault uh, for the World at War series. As you can see, you can fire bazookas off of it. You can fire regu your regular machine gun off of it. And it moves really fast, and you can run people over with it. Nothing too fancy or, you know, well to go with it. And I'll also show uh, another version of the tank. Uh, I make the controls look a little clunkier than what it is because of my uh, settings. But, uh,. As you can see, this one sports a uh, 50 cal on the top of it now instead of a uh, just the re regular turret itself, uh, giving teams some development in terms of tank variety of what they want to do. If they want to do infantry suppression or if they want to have like have a main tank or something. Maybe this would be like a heavier armor or something for them. Uh, but uh, go ahead and let you guys see there. Uh, if you got also, uh, I can refer to you to my other videos on uh, Army Man World at War or my B-17 bomber montage, compare and contrasts uh, for like fighter planes and how and bombers and how they would work. Uh, so. Like I said, uh, give the, like game developers, come on, you can do it. Uh, let, let's get away from the re the arena modern warfare style games and kind of stick to some, uh, 
kind of change the route for it. Go back to uh, have it more of a wider area, world, uh, persistent world, rather than a uh, rather than this. Uh, you know, there's Battleground Europe can't be the only one out there. I mean, Fez was another one that had like a persistent world to it uh, to some extent, but like like I said, come on, developers, you can do it. I'm quite sure you can. So uh, this week he's signing out, and uh, hope you like my little uh, vehicle showing off. And hopefully, if you're a game developer, maybe you can come up with some sort of idea. Uh, thank you.